What's up Breakpoint fans, Dub Dan here. Just want to really quickly go through some graphic settings for Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Now I'm running the game on a PC, uh, my processor is a Ryzen 5 1600, and my graphics card is an RX 590. Now I, I chose those two components because they were pretty cheap. Um, like an RX 590 right now is maybe, I don't know, 250 bucks. So it's, you know, about half the price of the new uh, AMD cards. And so, I mean, for budget gamers who, you know, can't afford the expensive hardware, but you still want to play Breakpoint, uh, these are going to be the settings for you. So um, starting from the top here, resolutions, 1080p. Uh, I have a free sync monitor, so I turn VSync off. Um, resolution scaling, you can leave it 100. Temporal injection, turn it off. Uh, Anti-aliasing, turn on. Um, you can just turn the frame locks off. Uh, sharpening is off. Now when I had this turned on, my average frames per second dropped down to about 53 or 52. Now the way it is now, the average was 57. And here's all the goody stuff. Uh, ambient occlusion, medium. Level of detail, medium. Texture quality. Um, the RX 590 is an 8 gig VRAM card, so you can crank that all the way up to ultra. And filtering, leave it at 4. Uh, screen space shadows, turn off. Terrain quality, you can get away with high. I mean, if you wanted to get even closer to 60, you could turn that down to medium without, you know, much of a visual difference. Uh, grass quality, you can leave it on high. If you bump it down to medium, um, it, it, it looks quite a bit worse. So you can leave that on high. Uh, screens, uh, screen space reflections, uh, put that on low. Sun shadows, low. Cloth simulation, just leave that on low. And I don't think any gamer anywhere likes motion blur, <laughs> so you can leave that off. Bloom, you can leave that off as well. Uh, subsurface scattering, you can leave off. Uh, long range shadows and volumetric fog, just make those low. And fog background blur, you can uh, leave it off. And yeah, if you have these settings and run the benchmark, I mean, I, I get an average of 57 frames per second. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you get. So here are the results of the benchmark. So we got a 57 frames per second average. The lowest it dropped down to was 43. And the maximum was uh, 95. And that's with a Ryzen 5 1600 and an RX 590. So I think that's pretty good. I mean, my uh, my goal was to get as close to 60 as possible, and the game still looks really good. You know, texture quality being at ultra is is kind of the the biggest thing here. But you know, a lot of the shadow settings, you can just turn those off. And uh, terrain quality, I was really happy I was able to, you know, bump up terrain quality to high. So that was really nice. So yeah, this is a good, a good uh, screenshot of the settings to achieve close to 60 frames per second. So here we are in uh, AMD software. Uh, my current driver version is 20.4.1, uh, so that's the most recent one as of right now. And we're going to go to the settings wheel here, go over to graphics. And I turned on Radeon Boost. I think this was the main thing that gave me that extra 3 frames per second to get to 60. And I turned image sharpening on. And Enhanced Sync, I just turned that on. But I think the main thing here was Radeon Boost. 
I think that's what enabled me to get up to 60 frames per second. Now mind you, um, when I changed these settings, um, I noticed that my temperatures were rising a little bit more. So to increase your fan curve, go to performance and then tuning, and then go to manual for tuning control. And when you do that, it should open up this fan curve here, or you might have to enable fan tuning first. And before it was sitting, I, th I think the maximum was just below 75%. Uh, I just bumped it up, just kind of made a nice nice even curve, and that seemed to, to fix the issue because before I was getting up to about 84 degrees, and this keeps it back down around, you know, 80 maximum. So after making some changes in my AMD software settings, uh, we have hit the 60 frames per second I'm super happy with that, and I hope you like this video. Um, be sure to like and subscribe if you found this helpful, and um, yeah, power to AMD users. <laughs> See you next video.